Hi everyone, I'm Marcus Roon. A very sad day in the news business as two journalists were killed while they were on a story in Virginia today. And we just learned more and more about the tragic details. The breaking news we just learned after a press conference just minutes ago is that the person that police say is responsible has died at the hospital of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Starting off around 6.45 this morning, a reporter and a photographer were on scene doing a pretty easy recreational story about what's going on in the community. A gunman came up and shot six to eight bullets, ended up hitting three victims. The photographer, the reporter, and also the interviewee that they're interviewing. Two of them died. The victims who died, the reporter, Allison Parker, she was only 24 years old. The photographer, Adam Ward, was only 27 years old. The third victim, Vicki Gardner, she was the executive director of the local chamber of commerce there. She ended up surviving. She was shot in the back. She was brought to the hospital, and after surgery, they say she is in stable condition. So then police were wondering who would do this and why. They found an image from the live feed because this happened on live television where when the photographer was shot and he was falling over, the camera was pointed towards the suspect. They took an image of the suspect and put that on social media. Police said that was a big help because they got numerous calls and numerous tips. They identified him as a former disgruntled employee of that same TV station. His name is Vester Flanagan, 41. He's the suspect in this case. His TV name that he used was Bryce Williams. So police ended up getting that information. After a chase, they ended up uh, getting him on the highway, and police say that the once they turned their lights on, he ended up crashing into the side of the road, where when they caught up with him, they found that he had already shot himself. They brought him to the hospital, where he ended up passing away. So this is the end of the manhunt aspect of this, but it's such a sad story, and there are so many questions that remain. He sent a multiple-page document to ABC News, and we are expecting to learn more about why he did this based on what he wrote in that document. Police have that now, and they're combing through it and we'll see what other details that they release. A very sad and difficult day because I am a journalist and I work with people who are out in the field every day, and I'm a producer, just like the producer who was in the booth this morning for this show when it was on the air. Her fiancé was actually the photographer who ended up passing away. And I can't even imagine how difficult that is because I can feel it right here in Connecticut. I can feel how difficult this is and how emotional it is. And I know all my friends and colleagues are too.